Hey everyone, this is Simpsons Tapper from TSL Home on Discord. Thought I'd log on today. I haven't made a YouTube video in years, but I thought I'd uh, hop on and make a video of all the new custom uh, menus that uh, we've created for the mod. Um, stay tuned towards the end. Uh, we'll let you know how you're able to get the uh, mod. So yeah, like I said, just wanted to hop on. Thank everyone for the continued support. Um, glad the mod is back up and running. Eventually, we will have the uh, Tiesto Home website back up and running as well. So let's just dive right into it. So when you uh, go into the toolbox, you'll notice characters, buildings, and decorations. And then if you tap on the arrow, you'll notice all the other custom store menu buttons with text. So before, we didn't have this text, the Simpsons font. So um, if you weren't really familiar with the game or the events um, from the game, you kind of didn't know which, you know, you didn't know which button was for what event and what it did. But now here it is. It's in, uh, you know, it's a nice font um, with the images of the events. So after characters, buildings, decorations, you have the skins and facades. You have new items, event packages. Um, so let's go into event packages here. If you're missing any event, you know, from the current one, which is Circa du Springfield, all the way to 2012, you have them all here. Um, so if you want to add anything, you know, you could add all the items from each event, um, you know, separately, or there is a button to add all of them all at once, but we'll, we won't get into that today. Uh, I just want to talk briefly about the custom uh, menus instead. So moving along, you have from newest to, to oldest. So right after is red alert, uh, northward bound, and so on. As you can see, all the events are here from 2022 uh, till uh, 2012, so 10 years is uh, Simpsons game is actually being celebrated this year. And then once you're done the events, you go into the holidays. So Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween. Halloween is my favorite. Um, so like I said earlier, you can add every event or every store menu that you tap on as an add all for that, uh, for that menu. So here's add all Halloween items. You could add these manually or you can add them all when you tap on the first uh, item. And these uh, store menus are actually in alphabetical order, which is awesome. So moving along here, after, you're, after you've passed the holidays, you have uh, delete characters. So if you want to delete a character, you can. If you're looking for unique decorations or um, uh, buildings, you could tap on find unique items. You can add debris. You can actually add uh, 2D items as well. And the last couple of days I've been working on transportation, nature, and infrastructure uh, buttons. So here basically you have all the transportation in the game from alphabetical order once again. Um, here you have all the nature items in alphabetical order. And then lastly you have infrastructure. The good thing about infrastructure is you can add items separately or you can add 20 of each to your account or somebody else's if you're being a designer or whatnot. Then uh, moving along in alphabetical order, uh, as clearly as you can see, uh, I am OCD, um, A to Z, for the fine unique items for decorations and buildings again. So if you are, let's say, looking for you know something from, let me see if I can find it for us. Yes, the zombie sandwich. This was needed uh, back for Halloween. Very difficult, as you could imagine, if it's hidden behind a building or a big decoration. Um, so there, what it does is going to find the item in your account. Um, so there it is. But what I wanted to do quickly show you too is you can actually let's say sell it and then go back to that button. So we sold it. So first it found it. Now what it's going to do is going to look for it in the account again, which obviously you don't, you just deleted it. So it's going to tell us that it couldn't be found. So it's going to go into decorations and it's going to say, here it is. And uh, we can place it anywhere in our town. So let's pop it right here. There it is. But another thing it actually can do, if you have it in your inventory. Okay, so let's put it in our inventory. Go back to that button. So it was in Z zombie. It's actually going to go into our inventory decorations, and there it is. Boom! You can place it. So as you can imagine, it saves you a ton of time. 
uh, you know, obviously this only works for unique items. It doesn't work for non-unique items because you could have multiple of those items and uh, it's not going to find every single one. That'd be very time uh, consuming. But these are all the, you know, decorations and buildings again from A to Z. Similar to the store menu, if you go into your inventory, um, your inventory buttons are the same as your store menu. So both uh, both sides of the spectrum, they all have the same um, images with the fonts below. So it definitely helps you out by trying to find out, you know, what's in each uh, event, what, what does each button do. Um, but I'll go in more detail, you know, with all these buttons. Um, you even have buttons on top here and on the bottom. For, for further down the road, we'll make more videos, hopefully, and um, we'll go in uh, greater detail of what each button does. Uh, but for today, I just want to talk about the custom buttons that we've done for you guys and hopefully made it easier. Um, as I mentioned uh, in the beginning, if you are interested in the mod, all you have to do is there's a link in the description. You have to join our Discord channel and just contact myself, uh, Simpson Staffer. Um, once you've donated, it, it, it is a monthly subscription uh, via PayPal. It is five pound and you'll receive the updated version of the mod. You can have it on your Android device or if you have a rooted or jailbroken uh, device, you can put a rooted version on your device, whether um, it's BlueStacks or any uh, other emulator for uh, Android. Or if you have a jailbroken uh, iPhone, you can also put the mod on there. But as, as I mentioned, feel free to you know message me on Discord anytime, whether it's mod questions or you just need help something with the game, feel free to contact me and I'll help you out as soon as I can. Um, so as I mentioned, thank you so much for your continued support. Glad to be back. It's great to see everyone excited again. Um, hopefully I have a new update tomorrow, whether it be St. Patrick's or, or Easter event. And looking forward to, you know, posting out more videos for you guys. So thanks again. Happy tapping as always. And looking forward to the uh, next one. Take care, guys.